I have, I tell you, it's a little hard for me to concentrate tonight because I'm surrounded by very talented men. Uh, drop that gorgeous. Mark Brokowski takes my oh, breath please. away. An amazing actor, played right, exquisite writer, E.B. Hughes, film director, pays the cage. And my boy right there, Roy. Ron. Ron. Ron, Ron Ray. Ron, Ray. Ron you're very <laughs> quiet. You're making me awfully nervous, but don't worry about it. We're in good hands. We're going to have some fun. Let's talk about the film. Yes. I went to see it, what, about a month, a month ago? Yeah, it was. Summer 12th uh, anthology. Yeah, yeah, and I loved it. Let's talk about the film. Let's Thank please, you. Please, let's bring yeah. it on. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you shot it when? 2011? Uh, 2009. 2009. Mm -hmm. 2010, 2011. Okay, let's talk about how you put the script together, the work. Yeah, I um, wrote the screenplay, and I the first guy that I uh, hired was Denny Best, the lead actor. Yeah, the he's actor. not here tonight with us. Right, no. he's in a play right now. He's in now. a play yeah. right now. And uh, so I get Denny, and then I got, um, let's see, we got Raina, who uh -huh. plays Sarah. Oh, she was so good. Yeah, she's very good. Yes. And um, and then I had uh, I had a couple other people that... Right. Things didn't really work out as uh -huh. they film sometimes. So. It took some time to put it together, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, how you guys met, you and Mark, I'm kind of like... Uh, well, we met through uh, Nikki, uh, right? Yeah, a yeah, wonderful know. actress and very talented writer, Nikki Arlen. Okay. Um, he showed me the script, right? I did, yeah. Uh, and... Uh, and uh, Initially, you had a, 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 there was another role. Remember yeah, we shot a jail thing, a jail sequence, uh -huh. yeah. and um, you know during editing and stuff, I, I wasn't happy with, uh, you know, some yeah. things that I had shot previously. Sure. So I asked Mark to take over uh, as the bad guy, Lucius. Right. Oh, man, that <laughs> Lucius man, that scene with yeah. Sarah Player. Oh, where's my girl? Sarah yeah. Player. She's not here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's not here with us tonight. But when you read the script, Mark, do you remember when you got the script? What was your first impression well, when you read it? Well, I read the script and, uh, you know, I thought that the character of Lucius would be a wild ride, you know. Right. Um, there were things that I could identify with. We had a lot in common, yeah. he and I. Um, then I met with Eric, and uh, Eric and I had a lot in common. We both liked the same movies, the, you know, the 70s movies, uh -huh. Casavetti, Zuli Grossbard, Scorsese. You right. know, those, those gritty, raw 70s films. And I knew that was his vision. That's what he was going for. Uh -huh. um, and uh, we got together. And he has an interesting way of working because you know, he'll give you the script and he'll let you put yourself into it. You know? right, right. And when we're shooting, like, he'll shoot like two, three takes. Uh -huh. And then he'll let us throw the script away and just have fun and just improvise. <sighs> improvise, I you love know? that. And really go to town so that certain like, magical things happen that don't happen when you're married to the script, you know what I mean? Right, right. And casting all the actors, do you like auditioning? Do you like, do you go by referrals? How does it work for you? Because everybody has a different yeah. way to go. I, I'd like to, in a perfect world, you know, just hire the right person. But, uh, um, you know, it, you got to audition. It's part of the thing. Right, you know, right, right, right. Finding the right person is not easy. Kind no. Of go through people you know, helps out. Um, you know, and it's, uh, that's how we got Sarah. Yes. You know? Yeah. She was Pretty amazing. Much. Yeah. We auditioned, I think, a lot of people, a lot of girls for that role. Yeah, and I, I called you up and I said that there's this great actress yeah. at the actor's studio that he's got to see. Yeah. Okay, and cool. And she came in and she just, like, nailed it. Mm -hmm. Right away. That's mm -hmm. the man right there. He's very quiet. I said, he's yeah, very no. analytical. I'm, I'm betting that he's <laughs> kind of, like, going I'm just going checking through. everybody out. That's checking. all. Uh, no, how I'm doing so far? I'm doing no, good? Everything is real cool. I, I just dug the way, um, when I spoke to Eric about doing my role, he basically gave me all the, you know, creative license over it to make sure that not only was I felt, I felt comfortable, but, you know, it was something that I could bite my teeth into, like what Mark said, you know. Right. And, and the whole audition process, what we spoke about was, I just said, you know, make sure it's somebody that's that's dealing underneath the words, not just over the words, because anybody could read a line, but sure. it's somebody going to bring what you wrote to life. So, mm -hmm. right. that that's what I enjoyed working with Mark. You know, yeah. when, when we reshot our scenes, and he played Lucius. I told Eric, I said, yeah, you know, this is more organic. Yeah. Before it was like we were like reading lines. So yeah. I don't want to do that. You know, anybody right. can do that. So why? You don't want a line sound like a line. <laughs> you know, I, yeah. I, 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 oh man, yeah. I die well, when I see, you know, when you hear, you know, the line, something like a line right, instead right. of like, you're right. That's real part of life it. taking place. Yeah. And you were wonderful. You guys were, it was such a, I, I have so much fun and I mm. love, 
the chemistry. The chemistry between all of you yeah. and the way you guys, it was flowing from the beginning to an and end. And we gave each other room to play. You yes. I mean? We, we kind of got to know each other after, you know, a couple takes, you know. Yeah. And we um, let each other play. Right, I liked it. Yeah. Very unpredictable too. Very yeah. kind of like edgy. You like edgy stuff because I was I uh, checking your uh, George Cat, my boy. Uh, George is a good George. man. Oh, yeah. George, I'm gonna bring him here. He's yeah. he's such a sweet guy. Yeah, I worked with him in Turnabout. Uh, yes, like after with Peter Green. Yeah, Peter I brought Green. him here too. Peter yeah. Green, he's a mm -hmm. nice guy. He was very extremely shy. Yeah, Peter's and extremely great. nervous, man. Before the interview, he's like. <gasps> <laughs> well, all of us again okay, would get nervous to a certain degree, but ah. well, this could be nerve wracking. <laughs> it is. You know what I mean? It could be. You know why? Because uh -huh. I guess that the fact that we're going live. Live. The, the right. Term it, live it, and, and then you have four cameras in front yeah. of you, and you got a thousand things yeah. going wrong yeah. before you go live. <laughs> How's it possible? But, but you help us forget that it's live. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's very. We good come in. You're playing beautiful yeah, music. It's a good atmosphere. Yeah, absolutely. Of course, you know? and the hot women around <laughs> kind of right. helps too. That's there you, go. you know, <laughs> but um, very dark. I I I've seen your work. What yeah. I've seen. Dark Waters. It is a little dark, yeah. Right, why Probably is not that? like Hallmark Movie of the Week stuff. Yeah, but I like that. Yeah. Not, I mean, you're interested in exploring the dark side. Yeah. Character studies uh, uh, fascinate me, you know, like Five Easy Pieces, King of Marvin Gardens, movies from the 70s, Scarecrow, Panic right. in Needle Park, all that. Things where, you know, the, you flesh out the character. Right, now let me ask you, do you keep notes, do you keep a diary, what you're doing when you're... I keep notes. Film? Yeah, I, I seem to, I rewrite like as I'm going along kind of. I don't, I don't like to uh, write and then go back. Uh-huh. Now when you are on the set, do you give a lot of notes? Do you leave the actors alone? Do you have that? Uh, do you consider yourself an uh, actor's director? You are, are you, uh, do yeah. you leave them alone? Yeah, or you I think kind so. of like, what do you think, Martin? He gives you room? <coughs> he gives you a lot of room. He gives you a lot of room? He gives you a lot of room, yeah. Um, I think with directing is if you've got good actors, man, they're going to do like 80% of your work for you. That's correct. You know what I mean? Um, he would come in and he would um, give us suggestions. You know, he would whisper to us. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. um, give us little motivations. Yeah, I think, you know, i got to say that, you know, I kind of lucked out in a way. I mean, you know, with people like, and I'm not just saying this, but with people as talented and when they're in sync like this, you don't really need to. You don't need to. You don't say need to much. hammer it over the head and ha yeah, say too much. You they don't have to say much at you all. You know if it feels right. I mean. Right. Um, and unfortunately, sometimes you know it's not until after the process is over, after you've shot things, and you go mm -hmm. back and look at it later on. And well, now when you're in the editing <coughs> room, how does it work for you? Do you go crazy in that final cut, that computer? Oh, fuck. I like to. I <laughs> or you are like, no, man, I pulled it off. I was able to pull it off. I did it. I know. Because you know what it is like. It's one thing is the movie that you yeah. write. Yeah. One thing is the movie that you, yeah. that you shoot, it's right? It's a process. It's a process. And yeah. then you have the movie that you cut. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I think that, you know, he always asks, he always asks me how I feel about it. So I think a matter of uh, if you felt good, you know, then that's what was caught, you know? So right. when he gets to editing, you, you know, you want to see that, okay, everybody felt what they was doing. So, yeah. because right. if you believe what you were doing, you're going to say so. Because I'll tell them in a second if I, if I thought we needed to do it again or I wasn't, I wasn't on. You know, it was yeah. kind of like I was in my head instead of, yeah. you know, Now, do you have, guys have rehearsals for this or you didn't? We didn't. Um, <coughs> for, no? for their scenes and, and the ones with Sarah, and there weren't a lot of rehearsals. No. Okay. Um, we, we, we met initially yeah. to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. right. So we just had a, a bounce off session. At w w the studio where where you and um, Sarah, right? Right. Right. Yeah, we, we 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 just bounced off each other real quick, just to go over the lines and give ourselves a, an opportunity to, to yeah. kind of like know, you know, how much space we needed, you know, what was going to happen, mm -hmm. you know. Right. If, if this person worked in their head or were they organic, so I just needed to know that. That's what I asked Eric. But once I met him, I knew everything was going to be like born of the moment, so I was mm -hmm. really happy about that. Because it's so important for actors to be in good hands. You know, you can oh be yeah. the greatest actor, man. You can be like, yeah, I'm going to rock that stage. I'm yeah. going to rock that set. And but the director's in the camera, you know what I mean? Yeah. He's, he's looking at that uh, monitor. That's correct. And he's know, he knows if you're too big, if you're too small, if you're... Right. You know what I mean? He knows the levels. Right, right. Yeah. You know? the adjustments. It's more or less tweaky, you know, when they're hitting it like in stride the way they do, you know, really good. Uh -huh. When you're working with really good people, you tweak yeah. them a little bit here and there. 
it's, it's, not it's really. I, I tell you, it was such a, I, I had so much fun because I, I felt that the movie was great from beginning to end. Mm -hmm. And everybody was so right on. Everybody yeah. was like perfectly cast. Even the small parts, I, I thought were, you know. Small parts, those small parts, but small parts yeah. for actors, yeah. right? right, right. I mean, you got real <laughs> character faces for, the, <laughs> for like, the extras, even the extras. Even <laughs> everybody was like, Ugh, right, so right. like I said, this there guy, there, there was no, there, there, And the problem. No small parts, small <laughs> actors, right? right. There's small <laughs> actors. What's the, I, I want to bring the, uh, the name of the actors. I don't want to forget. Yes. Please, I have him here. And God our DP, it. William Murray. William Murray William uh, is the director of photography. Yes, yes. Um, Can we bring all those names to Jeff, the table? Jeff sure. Balron did the soundtrack. I thought he did an amazing job. Yes. Score. Um, Danny Bess. Is Danny Bess, my boy, he's going to play. Yeah, Raina Khan plays Sarah, the love interest. Right. Uh, Don Striano plays Ziggy. Don who, Striano, the guy with the white hair. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he uh, yeah. runs the apartment building. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And then uh, Ron. He seemed like that guy, that guy Don. I felt that I'd met, I met him for years. Yeah, he's that a real like, New Yorker type. He's like yeah. a kind of guy that you just <laughs> run the south, run the south, run the pizzeria. like yeah. he's so, yeah. he was very relaxed. Yeah, he's a natural as well. Yeah. He's a natural. I like natural yeah. talent, yeah. man. Mm -hmm. No, he's real cool. I, I no, think. I'm not missing anybody. Well, are we missing anybody? <laughs> no, no, we're not. No, I think I get it. Right? Yeah. So now, the Sandra, Lucius, who did the Lucius is a crazy woman. Sarah, Sarah. Oh, we, yeah. oh we Sarah about Blair. Her, yeah. She was amazing. That scene that you guys got together, I was like, who? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you're working with an actress of uh, Sarah's caliber, yeah. and she's looking at you with her eyes yes. like that, you're there. You know, I know. what I mean? Yeah. It's right there. Oh. Yeah, very it's press amazing. and very powerful and yeah. remarkable. And you guys were so connected, Mark, like so connected mm. in such a deep level. Yeah. You know, it's like you're pretty much willing to take that ride, right? Yeah. You want to see what yeah. you can do. I guess that once you're locked in, in the zone, you just allow yourself yeah. to yeah. go. Yeah. As far as you can. And a good director will let you do that. And a good director will let you do yeah. that. Exactly. Right? Mm -hmm. And I think you did it. I mean, when I seen it, I said, ah, oh, man, I think it was like magical. It was perfectly casted, and it was like it came together. But I'm kind of, kind of wondering, you know, how does it work behind the scenes? How does that kind of wonder how he directs? Yeah, you know, how picky, how difficult, how challenging are you? I mean, do you fight with your actors? Do you get along with your actors? What happens when something goes wrong? And you feel like, <laughs> guys, don't give me that. Do you um, get upset? Sure. Do you I lose control? Do you no, yell? Do you no, scream? No, no. I don't think I, I, I did on this film. Right. Um, not that I can remember. Right. I mean, things went wrong, but that had nothing to do with them. Like, for example, like the first couple of days of shooting, we had a catering service, and right. the table broke, and the food goes. <laughs> things like that. <laughs> like a Woody Allen film. Yeah. Right. right. Things like that happen. Things that you're powerless over. Yeah. yeah. Right. But, but you know, and that kind of makes for a long and challenging day. Sure. But um, as far as the actors are concerned, I didn't have any real. Issues. How can you? We have these remarkable actors exactly. in the set, man. Yeah. But I guess what I'm <laughs> saying is that when things, because you, you're a director, you know that you have a million things in your mind. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you want everything to come together the right way. Yeah. You not only have the acting, you've got, you know, the camera crew, you've got the sound, you've got the weather, you've That's got the light, yeah. you've got this, you've got lot. that. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. It could be a little bit overwhelming. Yeah. I don't care how talented you Absolutely. are. It could be a little bit Absolutely. overwhelming. Well, that's why it has to be a creative partnership. Right. So the actors and the actresses, I always say, if you know your name is going to be part of something, you need to give whatever it is necessary to make it successful. Right. Right. So if my name is going to be part of it, and I spoke to Eric, I said, listen, you know, um, I was seeing how what his process was, mm -hmm. and his process was always, well, this is what it is, but if you could expand that as an actor, that's what you want. You want to know you can go other places as long as you're not getting off script. Or you, you're going off on a tangent with, mm -hmm. you know, where the director wants to take the movie or the film. So right, that's right. That, that's the main thing. So I, as far as Eric getting annoyed, I think it didn't happen with us because everybody was not only professional, but they were like, I want to be here. Mm -hmm. I'm digging this character. Yeah. I got freedom with this character. So sure. let's go to town. You have freedom yeah. to play. Yeah, absolutely. So everybody was just enjoying their work. Yeah, sure. Living yeah. the process. How long did it take you to put it together? Like, what are we talking about in terms of like? Days, weeks, well, hours. Well, what I would do is um, I, I did kind of the uh, Cassavetes thing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> with like faces where he shot over a couple of years. Okay. Because he, he would, uh, you know, get money together. And sure, sure, so sure. So it was basically because of a financial thing of getting right. money together that right. it took so long to shoot. Right. Um, 
So that's challenging too. Extremely challenging.